Toby Alderweireld has been linked heavily with a move to Manchester United this summer and he wants a move away from Tottenham Hotspur. But what is the situation? What is the likeliness of Alderweireld leaving Spurs? It looks pretty much 100% and this video is to explain exactly why Alderweireld will be leaving Spurs this summer. Now, United have already signed Fred from Shakhtar Donetsk, Delot from FC Porto, and I'd love Alderweireld to be the third summer signing. We definitely need a new centre-back this summer. Every United fan will tell you that. But will it be? I absolutely hope it will be. And I want to explain the whole situation that's going on with Alderweireld at Spurs. Now, Alderweireld has two years left on his current contract. And the reason for that is because Spurs last year exercised an option to extend it by one further year because he only had one year left. Now, Spurs did that, obviously, to protect themselves. They didn't want Alderweireld's contract running down, so they extended it by a further year. But by doing so, they activated a clause in the contract, which means that Alderweireld next summer, not this summer, next summer could be sold for £25 million. There's a clause in his contract that says that. Now, that can only happen within a three-week period next summer. But it effectively means that looking at Spurs this summer, they're in a very, very strong position to sell Alderweireld for what? 50, 60 million pounds. Next summer, he can go for 25 million. They're in a very weak position. So as far as Spurs are concerned, they want to sell Alderweireld this summer. And that is the major reason why Alderweireld will be leaving Spurs this summer rather than next summer. Because we all know Daniel Levy, he's a businessman at heart. And he won't want Alderweireld to go next summer for 25 when he could sell him this year for 60 million pounds. Now, last year, Alderweireld did only play 10 league games for Tottenham Hotspur, had a really bad injury, missed a lot of the season. If you look at his injury record as well, he has missed quite a few games in the last few years. You know, there was a period where he missed nine games for Spurs, he missed eight games for Southampton. He has had injuries over the course of his career, but very few would argue against the fact that Alderweireld is one of the best centre-backs in the Premier League. You can even argue for him being the best centre-back in the Premier League. 29, an absolute giant at the back. Alderweireld is world-class, truly world-class. And United need that sort of stability at the back. Yes, we had one of the best defensive records in the league last year, but that wasn't because of our defence. It was because of David De Gea, who kept 18 clean sheets, I think, won the Golden Glove in the Premier League. He was outstanding. Alderweireld is De Gea quality in a centre-back, and we need that. Now, although Alderweireld did only play 10 league games, he did return from injury, but Pochettino kept him out of the side. Now, nobody really knows why, but Alderweireld was pushing for a new contract, £180,000 a week. That's what he wanted from Tottenham Hotspur, but they refused to give it to him because it broke their wage structure. What happens at Spurs is that the players get lower base wages and get bonuses added on top of that. Now, Alderweireld wanted £180,000 up front as a base wage and Spurs refused to pay that. That's why we find ourselves in the situation we're in today where Alderweireld is actively seeking a move away and Spurs will be actively seeking to sell him. So for Spurs, they have a player that they know this summer is worth 50 million, that next summer is going to be worth 25 million. Do you take that risk? Do you keep him for one more year and hope that he can give Spurs the Premier League title? Probably not. For a businessman like Levy, he won't take that risk. And he certainly will be willing to sell to a rival for the right price. Just look, Kyle Walker joined Manchester City, helped them win the league. For the right price, Alderweireld can come to Manchester United. And Alderweireld has been speaking ahead of the World Cup and sort of made it clear that he is seeking a move away from Spurs. He said, I have another two years left on my contract. Tottenham decides about my future. Of course, I have my own idea. The past season was tough, but I'm glad that I could play the last four matches. That means I'm ready for the World Cup. Now, Alderweireld, he would pretty much strengthen any team in the Premier League. City, Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea and United. He would go into the starting eleven in every single one of those teams. And when a player like that is available, do you just ignore it? I don't really think so, especially in a position where United need to strengthen. This summer, we should be letting go of Chris Smalling, maybe keeping Phil Jones for one more year, but bringing someone like Alderweireld in to play alongside Eric Bay, that partnership could be sensational. Victor Lindelof still could be a fantastic player for United, but I don't think we can risk spending big on Fred, bringing in a new right back and not strengthening centre-back when it is a clear, clear weakness in the squad. And when someone like Alderweireld is available, you go and look at him. Now, Levy would definitely be willing to sell to United for the right price, but there might be a sticking point. 
Now, according to the press, Martial is Spurs' number one target this summer. Martial last year sort of fell out of favour with Jose Mourinho. We don't know what the relationship is going on between those two, but it doesn't look that good. He started off the season fantastically, coming off the bench, making the difference in so many games. But he hardly played any minutes when Sanchez joined. From January onwards, Martial was pushed to the, even further to the sidelines, clearly frustrated about it, and he was left out of the French squad for the World Cup. So I'm not sure whether Martial wants to be a United player at the moment, which plays into Spurs' hands. But will United let Martial go? I really, really hope not. I think Martial can become world-class at Manchester United or any club he joins. He's that level and that calibre of player. So I would hate to see him leave. So the question is whether Spurs and Levy would deal with United and let Alderweireld come to Old Trafford without Martial going in the opposite direction. I think they would, but it will cost a lot more. And whether, whether United would be willing to pay that fee or not, I'm not sure. Obviously, Liverpool, they paid 70 odd million for Van Dijk from Southampton. I think Alderweireld will be in the same price bracket as that. How much do you think Alderweireld would be worth? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, that is the situation explained. Spurs will be selling Alderweireld this summer because if they don't, he can leave next year for just 25 million. And I don't think Spurs will let that happen. Will it be to Man United? Will it be to any other Premier League team? or a team in another league. I don't know, but let me know what you think about Alderweireld. Would you want him as Man United's third signing? Would you be confident that if he came in and settled alongside Bayer, that our centre-back problems would be solved? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if it's not Alderweireld, who do you want as your third signing? Let me know in the comments. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. If you're new, you want to stick around, take it easy.